guys, we are here at the Bakersfield Fire Department, and as you can tell, I am completely suited up from head to toe, although I don't really know what's ahead of me. I have been told I'm going to do an obstacle course of sorts, and I know that's going to be testing my endurance and my ability to see if I have what it takes to be a firefighter. I don't know if I have what it takes. Right now, all I have on is about 75 pounds of you know, uniform, and it's already hard and it's hot. So my respect goes out to these men and women that do this every single day, but I'm gonna give it a try and see if I can do it. Let's see if I have what it takes. All right, Chief Galliazzo, so tell me a little bit about what we are going to be doing today. Well, today you're gonna go through what, uh, a minor segment of what is our obstacle course, we call an endurance course. Uh, that just gives you an idea of what our firefighters have to go through in training during the 24-week academy. It's extensive and it teaches them their limits while they're inside a structure and when they need to pull out and make sure that they get out of the structure in time. Which is important because you can't save anyone if you're not That's paying it. attention to what your body needs and your tank levels and everything, I'm assuming. So Chief Galagaza had some of his firefighters help me get suited up from head to toe to see if I had what it takes to join the Bakersfield Fire Department and save lives. How often do you have somebody that starts the academy and is ready to go and can do this with no issues? Never. Okay. Yeah, there's always issues. I mean, when you get out here, it's it's just a different animal. And it is. not saying many of them haven't put the tank on and gone through these endurance tests before, but it's in a short span. We teach them in the fire conditions and any type of conditions, but this, it allows them to extend themselves and be able to see where they're at. And by the end of the academy, they have such a great idea because our training staff here at Bakersfield City Fire, and when they bring them through an academy, they're top notch. So it shouldn't intimidate somebody to see this route and be like, oh no, I don't know if I'm physically able to do that yet. They can work their way up to that. Well, what we say is we, we don't want them intimidated when they get here, but we want them intimidated when they get here because the simple fact is you need to be in shape. You need to be ready to do this job. This is about saving lives in the yeah. city of Bakersfield. And if you're not ready to do that, then maybe it isn't your time. I really wasn't sure if it was my time, especially after putting on all the heavy gear and being walked through the many obstacles of the endurance course. But I was honored to get a shot at this opportunity to become a hero and learn from the best. Do you remember your first time doing this? Oh, I do. I remember it uh, like it was yesterday. We're going to go on 30 years of my career with the Bakersfield City Fire Department. And looking back on those days, you'll never forget it, but you always remembered it when you went into a fire, whether I was in, uh, as a firefighter, engineer, captain going up through the ranks, you remember these times and how you were trained here and it's automatic and it's just the way you handle fire and how you're able to handle it in, throughout your career. So the practice here at this facility really does carry you on through your entire career. Yes. Which you learn is applied. Absolutely. It's second nature. Second nature. I'm sure I'll always remember my first and maybe only attempt at the endurance course. The team had me call for the hose to be turned on and the pressure water. was on. Step one, carry the water loaded hose from one end to the other and get it in place to aim and extinguish any possible flames. It's heavy! <laughs> but getting there. I thought I was doing so well. Was a challenge for me. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm scared. For this round, we practiced by aiming at a cone, but the course was just getting started. <sighs> then okay. I pushed the weight-bearing sled as fast as I could. <laughs> Next, I dragged the practice dummy that weighed almost twice my size, but I didn't let that stop me. Come on, I gotta save you from the fire. Then I trekked up three flights of stairs in full equipment, carrying the fire hose. When I finally made it to the top, it was time to get down on all fours and check the area for anything or anyone that could be in danger and in need of help. Once given the all clear, I made my way back down and outside where the next challenge faced me. Blast! A car accident. <laughs> then I learned how to use the jaws of life to pry the door open, cut it off of the hinge, and allow access to any victims. Yes. And finally, All I could right. say I completed the BFD obstacle train. Next Academy begins next February, but what we're doing right now is we're opening recruitment uh, as far as the application process on August 10th. And that'll run for two weeks and they could go to City Hall, they can come out here to All Drive Training Facility, or they can go on bakersfieldcity.us to obtain an application. I just want anybody out there that is looking forward to being, becoming a firefighter, has the, the ability, and they also are mentally, emotionally, physically ready, and they have all the requirements, apply for Bakersfield City Fire. It's the best fire organization in the nation and the best people you could work for. And I'm, maybe I'm prejudiced, but I know it for a fact, and I watch them do it every day. They're dedicated to legendary customer service. 